What's up, you guys? It's your boy, L Dog, coming at you at full form. It's been a while. It's been a while since I did anything. <laughs> but this time, I actually wanted to showcase a process piece of a commission of a cyborg samurai that was based from Raiden from the uh, Metal Gear Rising series. And this is kind of the first time that I'm actually showing the 3D aspect of my process and for those who really don't know I I start with the sketch first just like you saw in the very beginning of the video and then I just kind of move towards 3D and what I use in 3D mostly is to build props uh, or a figure or a stick drawing if you will and I use that as a basis to draw over and so Right now I'm just kind of filling in the blanks with this piece or the cyborg piece if you will and building all the rest of the components for the cyborg samurai that's very much derived <laughs> from Raiden. And so as you can see here, I you know my my passion for 3D is so intense sometimes that I just love details and putting objects into the figure and just trying to do my best to really capture sh shapes and forms as much as I can and that's basically my process um, I'm a firm believer of adjoining 3d and 2d together um, I've had a, a strong history of 2d line art um, in just in regards to illustration but I always love 3d I, I admire people who really take the time to really do do really well in 3d design and so I I feel like I want to capture both of that as much as I can in my work and so anyway with all <laughs> I'm just rambling but here I'm just kind of building everything I'm building all the components the joints the base I already had a, a uh, writing base already made so I was just basically just you know filling the whole body up and making my digital writing doll base if you will uh, good to go and, and ready to be um, rendered and used for color and and all that that you'll see later on and so I wanted to kind of really emphasize this point because like I'm more of a believer of if you build it once you don't have to build it again what I mean is that it's something to where something is built to where it's stored in the library and when you have something that's similar to it then all you're doing for efficiency's sake is you're pulling it out and you're using it uh, to save time um, and I, I really believe that like you <laughs> in order for me anyway to really work efficient I, I have to really store everything up and um, build from there and and stuff like that so as you can see here I I had the riding already built so but we're not exactly doing riding so I'm, I'm posing him uh, to the way that I want him to be I already have the lighting and the color information already there and so what I'm doing is I'm just posing the character and I'm getting it ready for render and yeah so the reason why I do this also is because my I really feel like my, my color is not great um, I'm really insecure about my coloring so I, I kind of use this to kind of help with that part to kind of help with the lighting and the colors and making sure everything looks dynamic and as you can see I'm rendering it all right now and I like everything so far so I use this 3d uh, form as a base to draw over it. So this commission by the way was uh, commissioned and given by a uh, way of Paman and so shouts out to him for allowing me to do this. So uh, I really appreciate it. I really really do and I love writing. He's one of my favorite characters to draw and so as you can see the line art is strong <laughs> and bold and so uh, I love line art. I I, I kid you not like if that is the only thing that I would do I would just do line art not the color but I use the 3d 
to kind of compensate for that so I can just concentrate on my strengths and uh, yeah just kind of drawing over everything and making sure everything is streamlined correctly and I had a lot of fun doing this actually um, this was not as stressful as I thought uh, really the time spent doing this was in the 3d part and so I just basically chilled and just kind of drew you know the line art and added the colors in and whatnot with the glowy effects and stuff like that and also I want to give a shout out also to my uh, my lovely girlfriend who was able to record all this in real time <laughs> she was able to prop the camera over my shoulder while I was on the computer for many many hours and I think this whole thing in, in total took around 8 to 12 hours um, mostly more in the 3d but she was willing to you know just keep the, the camera propped and she's she's amazing so shouts out to her I, I really appreciate her for just helping me out here but all that said um, <laughs> you know I'm just adding all the finishing touches here and, and everything and and just kind of you know using everything again as a foundation for uh, just everything else so also want to take this opportunity also to really just really acknowledge and shout out to my patrons as well i really appreciate you guys i'm thankful for you guys just donating and supporting me and giving me a chance to really do this full time i honestly have no words to really say how much i'm grateful for that and um this you know your your support is allowing me to do this full time and eventually i'd like to go ahead and make tutorial videos on my process in 3d and if you guys are interested in that i'd be happy to do that um, in the future and so if you guys are interested if any of you guys are, are really interested in in donating and and joining the wolf pack the fearsome wolf pack if you will you can in the link below and um yeah just help and um support as much as you can and support other fellow artists as well and in their endeavors and i really appreciate just the opportunity to even do all this so thank you guys again i really appreciate it so anyway this piece is done and adding all the finishing touches and and whatnot and this is a very great fun piece so hope you guys have learned my process and this cringy <laughs> 3d process if you will comment below if you want to see any more 3d aspects you'd like to see or learn in the meantime that's it for now i appreciate you guys giving this a watch thank y'all and much love